Hi, welcome to a new video of Canal Educa. This is the Unit 3, Capsule 11, Prepositions of Place. We are the teachers Sofía Escoterín, Fiorella Melusa y Eliana Ramírez. Today's learning map is Objective Materials Prepositions Activity Final challenge Objective The objective of the lesson is to recognize and use seven different prepositions. El objetivo de la clase es reconocer y utilizar siete preposiciones distintas. Materials For this class, you will need the following materials. A notebook A pencil A ruler Glue and scissors. Prepositions. Oh no! One of my birds is missing. Oh no! Uno de mis birds está perdido. The red bird is in the cage, but I don't know where the blue bird is. Pero no sé dónde está el blue bird. Can you help me find it? ¿Me puedes ayudar a encontrarlo? Let's look in my bedroom. Busquemos en mi bedroom. Look, my dog is on the bed. And my hamster is under the bed. What is that? ¿Qué es eso? Oh, my cat is behind the curtains. But I don't see my bluebird here. Pero no veo mi bluebird aquí. I look in the living room. Buscaré en el living room. This is my turtle. Esta es mi turtle. My turtle is between the cushions. And my rabbit is next to the sofa. Oh, I found my bird. Oh, encontré a mi bird. The blue bird is in front of the mirror. Oops, it's question time. Get ready to answer. Es momento de una pregunta. Prepárate para responder. Where was the dog? ¿Dónde estaba el perro? Yes, the dog was on the bed. Very good. Thank you. My pets and I are together again. Mis mascotas y yo estamos juntas de nuevo. Now, repeat after me. The red bird is in the cage. The red bird is in the cage. The blue bird is in front of the mirror. The blue bird is in front of the mirror. The dog is on the bed. The dog is on the bed. The hamster is under the bed. The hamster is under the bed. The cat is behind the curtains. The cat is behind the curtains. The turtle is between the cushions. The turtle is between the cushions. 
The rabbit is next to the sofa. The rabbit is next to the sofa. Activity. Where is Alex? ¿Dónde está Alex? Complete the sentence with the correct preposition. Completa la oración con la preposición correcta. Alex is under the desk or Alex is next to the desk. Yes, Alex is under the desk. Alex is next to the lamp or Alex is between the lamp? Yes, Alex is next to the lamp. Alex is in the night table or Alex is behind the night table? Yes, Alex is behind the night table. Well done! Alex is in front of the bed or Alex is on the bed? Yes, Alex is on the bed. Alex is under the mirror or Alex is in front of the mirror? Yes, Alex is in front of the mirror. Very good! Alex is next to the closet or Alex is in the closet? Yes, Alex is in the closet. Alex is between the windows or Alex is under the windows. Yes, Alex is between the windows. Good job! Congratulations! Final challenge. For the final challenge, we're going to create a preposition cube to play two different games. Para el final challenge, vamos a crear un preposition cube para jugar two different games. We are going to use the following prepositions. Utilizaremos las siguientes prepositions. Repeat after me. In, on, under, in front of, next to, behind. Are you ready? Let's go and create our preposition cube.
Now that you have your preposition cube, you can play two games. Ahora que tienes tu preposition cube, puedes jugar two games. Game number one. Throw away your cube, lanza tu cubo. And depending on the preposition that comes out, dependiendo de la preposición que te salga, you have to look for examples at home. Tienes que buscar ejemplos en tu casa con la preposición indicada. You can search your whole house. Puedes buscar en toda tu casa. How many can you find? Game number two. Throw away your cube. Lanza tu cube. And move around your bed, creating examples for the preposition indicated. Muévete alrededor de tu cama, creando ejemplos con la preposición que te salga en el cubo. For example, your cube says on. Si tu cube dice on, tienes que ir on your bed. What are you waiting to start playing? ¿Qué esperas para comenzar a jugar? Good luck! What did we learn today? ¿Qué aprendimos hoy? We learned the prepositions. What words do you remember? ¿Qué palabras recuerdas? In On In front of Under Next to Behind Between Por último, no olvides que puedes dejarnos tus dudas, comentarios y desafíos en nuestro Padlet. El link lo encuentras abajo en la descripción de este video. You did a really good job. Thanks for learning with us. We hope to see you soon in a new video of Canal Educa. Bye bye.